It's Friday, June the 16th. I'm out walking the dogs and thinking about the next blender project. And I'm here to tell you that I think the next thing is going to be an air conditioner. A lot of people seem to model air conditioners and there are a lot of references. And the references that I've been looking at mostly are actually 3D. And so what I've done is I've gathered a bunch that I think look really cool because in the 3D ones, people tend to grunge them up and uh, sort of, you know, they look like they're game kind of assets and that's what I like. And so, like I say, I've gathered lots of references of, of cool 3D air conditioners from various angles. And what I've done is I've put them into Pure Ref. We'll talk a little bit about Pure Ref. And uh, I'm gonna show that for the first video in the series and we'll have a look at the references and we'll see what we like because we're going to need to choose sort of a body style and we're going to look at the fan and the grill that would cover the fan and then we'll look at some stuff that you'd find uh, on the sides for uh, cables to attach to some vent type stuff some potential stickers or logos so there's you know five or six elements that we that we're going to sort of choose maybe from the different references what we like and whether we model them exactly the same or texture them the same uh, is up for debate but uh, that's what we're going to start with so if you're interested the plan is going to be to you know do this this series you know all the way from references through the through the modeling and through the texturing i know that once the modeling ends and the texturing begins some of you will go off and and texture or do materials in blender as some of you will do them in substance painter and there may be other things uh, I, I will probably end up doing stuff in substance painter but i am considering and i i can't guarantee this but i'm considering doing a little bit of normal uh details creating some some normal maps or um in blender uh and then using them in substance painter and I'm also thinking a little bit about bringing Substance Designer uh, into the, the pipeline. I know that not everybody has Substance Designer and or Substance Painter. Uh, but I was just thinking of some simple alpha design, maybe a logo or something, uh, that I could do in Designer just so that I can use it a little bit. If I do create something that looks decent, you know, I can share that with you. You can download it if you want to. Um, but anyways, that's the plan. All right, so hopefully tonight, Friday night, is when I get my chance to do a little bit of work. Hopefully tonight we'll start with looking at the references and choosing some of the elements that we like and discussing the project. All right, so uh, let's get started on this soon.